Okay, partial derivatives. This time we kind of have a rational function going on here um, where we have 1 over 16xy. So if we want to think about taking these partial derivatives, I don't want to use the, the uh, quotient rule really. Instead, I'd probably just go ahead and rewrite this. I'm going to rewrite it so it's x to the negative first power times y to the negative first power. So moving both of those up to the numerator and making them negative exponents. They had positive exponents while they were down in the denominator. Next, let's focus on the partial derivative with respect to x. So as we get going on this, this tells us that we're only treating x as though that's our only variable. If there are anything else that's hanging out here is going to be treated as though it's a number, a constant. So what we can do is let's bring along our constants. And then we can really just focus in on what's the derivative of x to the negative first power. All right, that's going to be the power rule where we bring the exponent down in front. So we're going to multiply by negative 1. I'm just putting a negative in front. Then we reduce the exponent by 1. So negative 1 minus 1 more makes negative 2. If we wanted to, we could clean this up by putting um, our negative exponents, getting rid of those, and placing them back in the denominator. So it would be y to the positive first power down here, x to the positive second power in the denominator. Um, we could also take the partial derivative with respect to y. So I'm going to treat it the same way as what I was that first one, where I've rewritten it with the negative exponents. I'm going to bring the constants along, or what we're treating as constants in this case, and then really just focus on the y to the negative first power and taking its derivative using the power rule. So exponent comes down, multiplying by negative out in front. Then we reduce the exponent by 1, so it's going to be negative 1 minus 1 more makes negative 2. Um, finally, just cleaning this up, using positive exponents, so that would be x to the positive first in the denominator, y to the positive first, second in the denominator as well. All right, I hope this helps out as you're working on partial derivatives. Understanding negative exponents really makes a big, uh, it's a big help. Good luck.